Some lawmakers are hoping to help Kansas students get a jump start on college before they even leave high school. KSNT News reporter James Ryan explains how this new program could help kids transition to higher education without that hefty price tag. As part of a $600 million education plan, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Collier is suggesting giving high school students like the ones here at Topeka West the ability to take 15 college credit hours free of charge during their high school career. Columba Herrera will leave Topeka West in May with more than a semester of college work under her belt, but it didn't come easy. I had to work um, about like 20 hours a week just to be able to make enough money to pay for the classes. Even though she got reduced tuition for being in high school, her bills came to more than $2,000 overall. Still a bit steep for a high school student get, that we get paid like minimum wage. But the Kansas Lieutenant Governor's Office wants to take away some of that burden. Under this new program, the majority of Columbus' 18 credit hours would have been paid for by the state. I think anything we can do to make it easier for kids to transition from high school to college makes sense. Representative Fred Patton has a son graduating from high school later this year. He thinks the college credit program could be great in theory. My biggest concern is, you know, with the state of the budget, how do we pay for it? And so over the course of this session, we're going to be looking at all of the governor's education proposals and trying to figure out where to come up with the dollars to fund them. It could help all students be as prepared for college as Columba is, just without the heavy price tag. I spoke to someone from the lieutenant governor's office on the phone earlier today, and she admits that a lot of the details still need to be ironed out between the Department of Education and the state's Board of Regents. In Topeka, James Ryan, KSNT News. And whatever they figure out, way to go, Columba, working hard in high school and also taking those college classes. The lieutenant governor's office says they currently don't have an estimate on how much money the new program would cost the state. Meanwhile, the president of Washburn University says he's excited by the idea of the proposed program. President Jerry Farley says Washburn already offers dual credit classes for high school students at half price. Right now, we offer uh, a, a lot of different courses, and we have many students that will wind up with 24 hours, 27 hours with us, which is a phenomenal program. Good for Washburn, too. Farley says many students end up attending Washburn after high school and are able to graduate in three years because of the work that they did in high school. While he understands the cost associated with such a program, he says he's confident lawmakers can figure out a way to pay for it.